Okay, uh, the, my next, next topic is input, Python input. And then there is a Python, uh, you can use a function called input. You can read a string from the console with the input function. So the console means from the users, the keyboard. Uh, important thing that you should know is read a string, right? And then this input function is going to return a string, okay? So you can think uh, input is a functions, right? Uh, let's see. So the input function is, you can think it's input is a function, right? So let's say, um, you can think it's input is a, a function. So there's a function is input, right? Input. And then th this is like a user's keyboard. Keyboard, right? And then when a user uh, types something, then you're gonna read this input uh, from the user, right? And then it's going to returns, important thing is string. Okay, so for example, when your user type, let's say, and then you're gonna ask it, please enter your name, right? And this will be show up on the display or your monitor. And then the user, what, type, let's say Kevin Snow, when your user type Kevin and then Snow, right? And then he hits uh, return, right? The input is going to return string Kevin Snow, right? String Kevin Snow. And if the, so the thing is the input is always use the, uh, returns a, a something of type string. So for example, please enter age, right? Input. So when the user enters, let's say, okay, my age is 45, right? And he hits the uh, enter. Then the 45 is going to, what? Gets the 45 from the user, and then it returns, not the 45, it returns what? String 45. So if you want to use a, a number, right? Let's say, I'm gonna add, let's say 10 to this number and I want to, let's say divide, whatever. So if you want to use a number 45, then you have to use a, a function called int. So this 45 is going to what, feed into a, a function called int, right? We learned int function previously, right? Int, what is the int function? The, what in, int function does is what? It uh, gets the string uh, 45, and then what? So this is uh, int. And it gets the string 45, and then what? Returns a 45 integer. Okay, this is no longer a, a string. So that's why the age, right? Age is a variable, right? So there's the age. And then it will get 45 as an integer value, not a string. Okay? So, um, Let's just um, write up one uh, example code. Okay, just uh, let's go to Python shell. Oops. Okay, I'm going to open a new file. And then I'm going to say what, um, let's learn uh, Python. Okay, so uh, first, uh, let's say uh, I'm gonna create a variable called my name, and then this is I just create a variable my name, and then I'm gonna get this uh, value from the user, right? So let's say then in case I'm gonna use input, please what enter your name. And then to see if I'm getting the right value from the user, and then I need to verify this using the print functions. My name is colon, my name. Oops, my name, this guy, right? My name, the variable, my name. Let's just run this. Run Python shell, oops. Run uh, module. Okay, I need to save this. 
document Python lecture code. And I'm going to file name is a Python, what? Input example. Okay. Oops. So then Python is going to please enter your name, right? Here I'm going to say my name is Kevin Snow. Enter. So my name is Kevin Snow, right? Good. Now, uh, let's say uh, you want a program uh, to add two integers. So you're getting two integers from a uh, user, right? And add that uh, two numbers. So you have to say what? Uh, number one is equal to input. Please enter the first number. Please enter the first number. Then I'll say num2 input please enter the second number and you need to add these two numbers so I'm going to use uh, on a create another variable called sum and then I'm going to just add two number number one plus number two and then what uh, print sum is sum right so this is a very simple uh, program adding the first number from the user and the second number from um, like you know user and then i'm going to add this two number and then sum is the result right so i'm going to basically print the sum if i run this i'll have an error because you know that input function right now input is going to return a string, right? So if you do not use int functions, this num is going to be a, uh, let's say, string. And then you cannot, you, um, basically, it's going to, and the num2 is going to be what, another string. So this plus is going to be used as a concatenation operator. Okay, so you only use a very different uh, Results. So let's just run this. I know that this is not a correct uh, code, but uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to run this. Okay, please uh, enter. Uh, oops. Uh, please enter. Oh, please enter your name. I say uh, Kevin uh, Snow. And then uh, please enter the first number. So I'm going to use, let's say, uh, 5. 5 as my first number. And then enter the second number. I'm going to uh, enter, let's say, 10. So you're expecting to get a what? Uh, 15, right? 5 plus 10 is 15. But when you run this code, uh, you know, your result is going to be 5, 10. Why? Because what happened is your num is 5 and num is what? String 5. Okay, num2 is not the number 10, it's a string 10, right? So this plus will be used as a concatenation operator, right? Uh, automatically by Python. Python thinks, oh, number 1 is a string 5 and number 2 is what? String 10. So this plus is not a, uh, just a plus. This is what? Concatenation operate, operator. So the 5 and 10 is uh, concatenated, right? So that's why 5, 10. So this is not something that you want. What you want is what? You have convert this into uh, int. The whole thing. You're going to just, or... going to convert everything into integer right then you'll get a 15 okay so for now let's just get rid of this okay I want to more focus on uh, this guy so I'm gonna make everything comment the previous code 
right? So let's just run this. And the first no number, I can say five and enter the next number, 10, and then you will get a 15, right? By the way, uh, you can use this int like this, and if you don't like it, uh, there's another way. You can use this int function in another way. I'll show you. So you know that num1, num2 at this point is what? String, right? So that's something you have to remember. So the num1 at this point is a string. So you can say, hey, I want to change into the int, right? So now it's a, this whole thing becomes integer value. And then I'm going to apply int functions and my num2 is gonna be input for this um, function int. So now the Python thing, oh, this is like Python thing that, okay, this is a number integer number and then this is an integer number now the python uh, interpret that hey this now is just normal plus sign it's not the concatenation concatenation operator right because your left operand and your right operand are both integer numbers so let's just run this and the first no number is let's say 100 and another number is 100, and your, uh, sh the sum should be 200, right? See? Okay, good. So uh, I'm going to end my lecture here for the uh, Python input. Um, okay, so.